Good morning to you. I am Mark Suddeth, and here's what's up in the tropics. It's Sunday, the 7th of August, 2022. We now have something to keep an eye on in the eastern Atlantic. National Hurricane Center giving it a 0% chance of developing over the next couple of days. But if we expand that out to the five-day time frame, that goes up to 40%. My personal opinion is that it'll be higher than that. The chances are higher based on what I am seeing. Uh, but it's up to the National Hurricane Center to put the official word out there. And right now, that official word is about 40% chance of development over the next five days. Here it is. That's the system that we are tracking right there off the coast of Africa. Have been watching this for the last several days as it traversed across the continent. Several people were mentioning this on Twitter that I follow as the possibility of something that we would need to watch. Some of the computer models were latching onto it a few days ago, namely the GFS. The, uh, the Euro was on it just a little bit but it has dropped it completely for some odd reason. The GFS pretty aggressive with it. I'll show you that in just a little bit here as we continue through the presentation. One of the uh, elements of this that's very supportive, look at all that moisture. This is the total precipitable water animation and the Saharan air layer really nowhere to be found out that way right now. A lot of deep tropical moisture, high precipitable water values in the atmosphere. That means that it's moist and not dry. And that is a favorable signal for this to go on to develop as it moves across the eastern tropical Atlantic. And we can see on the infrared satellite animation, courtesy of Tropical Tidbits, a couple of areas of deep convection and a little bit of rotation in the atmosphere there, just a little bit of vorticity or spin. And you notice that the dry air, that milky color way up here, that is way, way off to the northwest of this system. So it is far removed from the inhibiting factors of the Saharan air layer at the time. And again, we saw that on the precipitable water animation and this showing the deeper thunderstorm activity, I, help, I think helps to just confirm that. All right, another favorable part of this whole puzzle is the warm water temperatures. They are running above normal all across the area that this tropical wave will be traversing. So that is certainly a check mark in the box towards favorability for this to go on to become our next tropical storm potentially. And if it does, the name would be Danielle. And you can see it on the GFS here. This is the 6Z run. Look at that. It develops it pretty quickly there, uh, getting it to tropical storm strength, perhaps. Air pressure is dropping into the low 990s millibar-wise. And then it starts to weaken again as upper-level winds not uh, nearly as favorable after about the five-day time frame. But if this does go on to develop, as the model suggests here, this would do so before the 20th of August, which is typically the normal ramping up time of the uh, hurricane season. And so this would be a named storm out in the deep tropics before that traditional ramp up period that uh, starts around August 20th. And I think that could be a sign, a further sign that the season could be very, very active as forecast. So we'll see how this plays out. No threat to land. I wouldn't worry about this at all in the islands. And the odds that this makes it over to the United States are certainly very low, in my opinion. I think this, again, is more of a sign that the tropical Atlantic will be favorable, especially as we head into peak season. And this developing ahead of that time frame, like I said, I think is a sign that we really need to pay attention once we get into latter part of August and beyond. Um, in the eastern Pacific, don't want to ignore that area. We do have a depression out here forecast to become a tropical storm, but only a tropical storm. I find this to be curious and interesting. No, we're not having these very intense systems in the Pacific. Again, I mentioned this a few updates ago. Yes, it's a busy pattern out there, but no, we are not getting one intense hurricane after the other. And I think it's just a matter of time before the Pacific shuts down completely and the Atlantic Basin basically takes over. All right, that'll do it for me for this Sunday. I'll be back tomorrow morning with more on the What's Up segment and then a much more thorough look at everything in the hurricane outlook and discussion later tomorrow afternoon. Have a great rest of your Sunday. I'm Mark Sutter. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with more for you tomorrow morning.